Alright guys, welcome back, and in this video, we're actually going to be adding this goal ball to the game, and basically, the goal of this game is quite simple. What we want to do is we want to destroy my face with a meatball. Now, my face is going to get destroyed in one of two ways. The first one is if it hits the ground, like this, then it gets destroyed, and also if we just hit it directly with a meatball, then it also gets destroyed. So scroll in and make sure that it sets right on this tower and might want to add like I don't know we'll just add this right here maybe we'll add some extra support right there alright so looking pretty good now the first thing of course that we need to do is add physics behavior to this so it rolls around like a ball so scroll down to la physics and good so now this is actually be, being treated like a ball instead of just like a background image or something and again make sure that it's placed on the tower and let's just run this game and see what happens right now alright so okay so the reason that it did that is because of that little space that we added but well, that's fine it actually adds a cool little element and now we can fire it and nothing happens so again even though our logic is working properly and then everything's being treated like uh, it should what we want to do is say okay whenever we hit that we basically won the game because this is hitting the ground which should be destroyed and also we hit it with a meatball so now we just need to add some logic and this is how we do that so the first thing I want to say is whenever it hits the ground pretty much destroy this ball right here my face the what did we call it the target ball hmm, pretty good name alright so add a new event and the target ball and the event for this is actually just on collision with another object and that object is the ground so basically we're saying when it collides with the ground well what do we want to happen well it's easy the only thing we want to do is actually just take this and destroy so whenever it hits the ground destroy it and another thing that we want to do is we want to check if we hit it with a meatball so target ball on collision with another object the meatball and destroy this as well and that's pretty much it if you guys thought it would be more confusing than that well then you're wrong because what we're saying is okay now when it touches the ground or you hit it directly with a meatball head on then destroy the target ball so now let's go ahead and try to make both of those scenarios happen first let me try to hit it with a meatball see I hit it right there and now let me try I don't know if I can uh, get the ground crap okay that's gonna be hard <laughs> alright that's gonna be hard to uh, get okay I probably gonna have to change my game around a little I'll just delete this one I'll move this I actually don't wanna hit it with a meatball before it gets a chance to hit the ground all right there we go so we can either hit it with a meatball or just have it hit the ground and oh, oh. <laughs> all right so I need to move this one out a little bit so the game doesn't just win by default before you even start and well that's it so that is how you add the logic of actually having a target with physics effects and a couple different ways that you can win and eventually you might want to keep score by adding some text elements to the top but one other thing that I want to add in this tutorial is how to make it look like uh, your target is actually blowing up. I'm going to show you guys how to work with particles in the next tutorial because we haven't covered it yet in any other game series. So thank you guys and I'll see you then.